Good morning, everyone. I didn't um, announce this. I never do. So you will just have to follow me <laughs> on here and on Twitter to um, not miss when I'm going to stream. But I am going to tweet now that I'm streaming so that everybody knows. Uh, and, uh, oh my god, I forgot to change the stream information again. <laughs> Stuff has happened for the burps. Done. I don't know why I keep forgetting to change my stre stream, steam, stream. My stream information, yes. Uh, hashtag, whoops. Verbs. Hashtag, The Sims 2. Hashtag streaming. And also the link to my twitch.tv slash supervide. Not dot com. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Live now! There we go. <laughs> so... Here we are! <laughs> I had to leave it like this because it looks so silly. I don't know why... Um, why my sims uh, sometimes glitch out like this. <clears throat> But she wishes Benjamin to get a scholarship. Now, um, there she goes. She just woke up in the middle of the night and she goes, well, sometimes something feels off in this house. And uh, Diane is out here. <laughs> That's weird. And something, something you may be noticing is Lucy is gone. Uh, so Jennifer, she goes in here to like check on everybody and she is soon going to discover that uh, Lucy is not here. So obviously I know what happened <laughs> and she goes like where's where's Lucy? Uh, she Is she out? Sometimes Lucy is out like late at night but you know, something feels a little bit weird for Jennifer right about now. But she can't do anything. Well, yes, she can. So she is going to call Lucy and see what's <laughs> going on. This will upset Lucy because it's in the middle of the night, but it's uh, it fits my story, okay? <laughs> so she calls Lucy up and she goes, "What? What do you mean? You you moved out? What do you mean you got married? You got married to Randy London? I think. Wait, <laughs> let's let's check on her. Yes, she got married to Randy London, and she is now Lucy London." And she didn't bring Diana. She left Diana um, over here. And also, you know, Jennifer thinks, like, this is a strange timing. And, you know, I'm very upset with you because I, I needed you right now. My husband just moved in with his floozy over there, like the nuisance. <laughs> and he took the baby with him. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so uh that that is a small recap <laughs> by me being uh dramatic so all right over here is the nuisance family and john actually went over here to to live with ginger that he has been having an affair with and she had his baby so he took his newborn son and moved in here and you know, obviously Jennifer is not happy about it but he made his choice 
And now Lucy just up and left, just like her father. <laughs> and obviously this, this is not ideal for Jennifer. She, she is not happy about all this. So, um, yeah, here we are. She is left with uh, two boys and a little girl. And she's like, I can't believe they did this. Can't believe it. And also, I wonder if she has a memory. We had a quite dramatic um, last episode. No, she didn't. I couldn't remember if she knew Cassandra Goff that died last stream. <sighs> she suddenly died of hunger while the headmaster was visiting and he was not impressed and the social worker took all the children away. <laughs> Yeah, the tea. Oh, this is coffee. I have quite a lot of coffee here. I know, I drink too much coffee. I, yeah, I know. All right, um, I think the only thing to do now is go, go back to bed and like try to process everything. Hopefully the children will manage themselves. She wants Benjamin to get a scholarship. Um, I don't know what scholarship he could be getting. I mean, he could he could call and see. Where did I? I moved the phone. It used to be over there somewhere. <laughs> uh, call college. When you're awake, Benjamin. And this little guy wants an A plus report card, so we should have him do his homework because he's not doing great. So, do homework. And Diana, of course, wants to be potty trained and everything. But Jennifer is a little bit too tired to take care of her grandchild. So, I. What is her... She still loves John. But you know, I don't think she would stand for him like moving out like this. So she is gonna call him over as soon as it's light out. Wait, is she going to work? After work then. <laughs> and uh, she can break up with him. Yes, carpool. Oh my goodness! I don't know if we have a maid. We need to make sure we have one. Uh, otherwise, we can't get to work. We need the money. Uh, they don't have a loan. But they also don't have a lot of money and they will have bills and everything. So I don't know if Benjamin has a job. He does not. We need a nanny. Track the schedule. Uh, track my schedule, please. All right. Yes, I know you need to go to the bathroom. Why do I, Why won't you just go? <laughs> no, she needs to take care of the toddler, apparently. Oh, she does have a bank account. I forgot about that. <laughs> So here's the carpool. Will the nanny show up soon? I hope so. Because otherwise we can't get in here. She could go... Wait, did the nanny not say she would come? She can always take the car. Uh, it's owned by nobody, but I will set it to Jennifer's car. Oh. Don't do that, actually. <laughs> uh, if if the car isn't owned by anybody, the carpool will still come, and it's I, I think that's handy. <laughs> also, it's good for the environment. There's the nanny. G 
Get out of the car, Nanny, and I can go to work. There we go. If you try to go with, uh, before the nanny comes, the same just goes, I know I have responsibility for other things, but I can't leave my children alone. Uh, and I do believe the carpool goes once they say that. So, I mean, the game might have let her go since Benjamin is here, but I would be like, he, he needs to go to school. Um, I, I think this episode will be much more chill than the last one. I hope. Like, we, we're not doing anything. They're going to school. Little Diana is trying to grow up. <laughs> Apply for scholarships. I'm like, hopefully nobody dies. Congratulations, Benjamin. You qualify for the Tsung Footwork Award. You will receive grant of thousand simoleon towards your next semester in college what what is the Tsung footwork award what has he done i must google it's it's very important Tsung footwork award high dancing hidden skill um all right what is his hobby tinkering um well they have been doing quite a lot of smuffling or whatever it's called <laughs> so okay i didn't know you could get that <laughs> that's interesting but he's not going to college for a while he wants to earn a bronze flower arranging talent badge. So, he could work on that. Resume this. Does he have a lot of... no? Sometimes... Wait, he has two games? That's unnecessary. Let's pick one out of there and give it to his little... Wait, can he, can he give it as a gift? I don't know if you can. I think maybe. I don't remember. Can you give gifts in The Sims 2? Don't remember how that's. Well, he's asleep. We'll try. We'll try later. <laughs> Not right now. School bus will be here at any second. There. So they can just go to school. I want to click through the window and do that. Go to school, Marshall. So, uh, the, re the reason that John actually took a little, what is it, William, I think? I do believe it. his name is William. Um, yes, William. He took William with him. Because he is the family sim. He is the one that wants a lot of children. So he couldn't bear leaving the baby. But he didn't want to disrupt uh, these two boys from school and everything. Uh, well, they wouldn't be disrupted from school. but Because he, was, he only moved like over there. <laughs> like two blocks over. But um, he still thought like they have their home here he didn't want to bring them but he brought the baby so yeah, that's why because jennifer is way more focused on her career and she didn't actually want to have a baby she just went along with it like she didn't not want a baby she just didn't wish for one. Oh, the phone's ringing i can't answer with my toddler <laughs> Okay, but hmm. what can I do? She does want to learn a nursery rhyme and learn to talk. So how can I can I ask for attention? I don't know. The nanny will try and potty train the toddlers. 
but it's not like in The Sims 4 when you can like when you oh oh my goodness that's so cute oh dear I don't know what angle I wanna take a picture from but it it's too cute and I'm taking like small pictures I don't know. <laughs> Oh my goodness, she is so cute. She's such a sweetheart. What is her personality? She is... Oh, she has... She already has developed an interest of music and dance. That's not her true hobby, though. Uh, over here. She is... Like, in the middle of everything. Nothing really stands out here, does it? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, we we could go like she's a Taurus, so her true aspiration is. I have that over here today. Okay, okay. Well, I guess we can do this. So her true aspiration is should be known. Wait. I have that written down here um, on their rules. And so she is a pleasure sim. I hope she randomizes something else. <laughs> Otherwise she won't go to college. <laughs> Probably. I don't particularly enjoy pleasure sims. They just want to party all the time. I don't know. Oh, a chance card. Another transient Sherpa. Sherpa? What is a Sherpa? What is transient? Well, at least I know another. So that's one of the th out of three words that I know. <laughs> so, okay, well, another transient Sherpa was has wandered in through the hospital's emergency entrance with a llama. Both the Sherp and the Llama are screaming and Jennifer is able to understand neither of them. Jennifer is the only one on duty right now. Should she in examine the Sherpa or the Llama? Um, I would go for the Llama because if both are screaming, then it stands to reason that the animal is the injured one. I think. Jennifer is no veterinarian. veterinarian. But even she can tell that this llama is sick. She immediately calls the animal hospital and asks a nearby paramedic famous for having once driven 25 blocks on nothing but sidewalks. Alright. To take the man and his llama there. A few hours later an envelope arrives addressed to Jennifer. It contains 5,000 simoleons and a simple note saying thank you. All right, well, um, that will tie them over for a little bit. Uh, can I check her bank account? Her money is, she has 2,000 in the account, so that's good to remember. Also, could someone please answer the phone? Oh, they have a, <laughs> they have a maid as well. Okay. <laughs> and now the child is asleep. Um, I don't know why I keep getting the these ones. Oh, well, let's reset that. Um, I, <laughs> I had this issue, by the way, in the apartments, I, I kept getting sims spawning duplicates of themselves, and that could apparently be fixed by, do, by having this, uh, it's the, people call it the bat box, but it's actually the FFS lot debugger, and you go in, you download that, <laughs> <laughs> and then you click it and you go fix and you have bad apartment residencies 
uh, because if you move someone out of a, an apartment, they can still be flagged as living there, and the game will keep spawning them. Um, and then you can just do that, and it goes away. Um, but I don't know why it, there is... We could, like, save, and then do the randomizer, because I don't know what it does, but it, it seems to delete or fix broken objects. So I got an error just now. So if we do this, why is there a taxi here? <laughs> I'm confused. Hey, was someone going somewhere? Hi, taxi. <laughs> What did that appear? I don't know. That was weird. Uh, apparently, uh, the the toddler doesn't really want to do that, though. So. Uh. Maybe I don't do it with the toddler then. Because when it fixes the lot, it um, it goes into neighborhood view without saving, so it's silly. Um, but we could do it like this: re-randomize, save lot. You gotta save it before you do it, because otherwise you lose progress. All right, okay. <laughs> oh, let me see when he has put his homework down. I, I want to see what, what he does. He brought a friend home from school today. Who's that? Who are you? Rosemary Yitmakusoy. Makusoy? Jit Makusoy. That, that, that seems made up. Who are you? I've never seen you before. Did you just spawn? <laughs> Hello. <clears throat> well, uh, let's hug her. Do we like her? No, not romantically. Benjamin's grades are slipping. Yeah, I bet. Uh, but he doesn't want to do homework. He has a whole pile over there. Uh, he's a family sim. I don't know why he doesn't want to be responsible. All right, let's do the thing. Fix, re-randomize. So, like it, it does um, fix or remove 23 objects. So I don't know what was wrong with them, but supposedly now they're fixed. <laughs> Or maybe we will have less errors. I don't know. Um, I may have forgotten to do that when William was born also. Which means he William might be a clone of someone. But I don't know. He might be. You know. Um, hard to know. But I'm, I'm okay with him being a clone. Like, he's gonna be a townie when he grows up. <laughs> I don't care. It's fine. We'll give him a different hairstyle. We'll, we'll never know. <laughs> He'll just have the, the classic burb personality or something. I think we can remove this one. Okay, now she wants to reach creativity level three. Do we have? Yes, we have it. A xylophone. She really likes music, but it's not a true hobby, as I said. It's something else. He finished a daisy bouquet. Sell that. 
Maybe you should take care of your little friend over here. He doesn't want to. But you know, you could at least talk to her for a little bit. Rosemary Yitmak. Yitmak soy. Okay. I'll, I'll need to add her to the spreadsheet. I don't think I have her here. Uh, Rosemary. Nope. She is a townie. And she is Rosemary. Jitmakusoy. How did I remember that? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Towny, towny. And usually when I find a new teenager, I put them like as young as I can. Like if I put it, if I, if I say zero and then go child, then we should get what is wrong with you? Oh, this obviously the same rotation, like just found her. What is wrong? What 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 is missing? I don't know what's missing. Oh. Need to be exact. So, okay, so if I put it as 12, what, what is wrong with me? Why can't I do that? Okay. There we go. Now we have her in the spreadsheet. Over here. And she's the youngest team that we know of. The only why, <clears throat> the only reason I keep adding people, like it's so I know who I should add to college. <laughs> <clears throat> like it, when Benjamin goes to college, if he does, he might get a wish to have her go to college, and I will uh, do that for him if she is old enough, but n not otherwise. That that's the rules. It's just so that I don't accidentally age too many of them up. <laughs> Sometimes I put them in as 11, but I can have strange situations. How old is Benjamin? Uh, Benjamin is 15. All right, so it's like if he were to kiss her, <clears throat> that would be bad. Because she's only uh, 12 in my spreadsheet, but I don't think he will, so I don't think it's okay. See, he doesn't like her. <laughs> Alright, should we try and see if we can fulfill some wishes? Diana is working on hers, but she also wants to get potty trained, so I think Jennifer should try and do that, but she will probably fall asleep I think Benjamin might what what is going on why is he doing the dancing idol is he having like a secret true hobby <laughs> I don't understand is it just because he has quite a lot of interest for music and dance maybe it's that who are you Solveig King. I must. She keeps popping up. I must have her in my spreadsheet. And I don't. All right. Wait. Wait. Is she? Oops. <laughs> Is she an adult? I need to know. I think she's an adult, right? See, she's taller. She is at least adult. I don't think she's a student. Okay. How did they spell that? Solveig King. Okay. King. All right. So we'll make her an adult. 
Why isn't this working? So she's 21, I guess. Actually, we. I think if we're gonna put Rosemary's 11, I just want them as young as possible. And like, you could pause for an adult when you're 19. I have, see, I put some of them at 19 because they're over 18. And she's adult. There you go. I I think this is what I'm gonna do. Now I have seen her around, so maybe she shouldn't be 19, but that's just what I did. <laughs> Sometimes I add people um, based on like who they like the most out of the non-played sims and I add that to the spreadsheet but sometimes I feel like if I don't recognize them that's it's okay if they keep being in my game even though my played sims like them <laughs> it's more important that if I recognize and like she has popped up in multiple places then I want to know that she is at some point going to die so that she is not here, like in five generations. <laughs> All right, their bills is apparently 308. So I'm gonna note that. Oh, we don't have John over here anymore. She he is over here. This is quite not right. <laughs> well, I'll solve that later. What did I say? Daily bills 308, maybe? Was that what I said? Yes. Oh, and Luz. <laughs> Luz is not here either. She's down here. <laughs> Everything is messed up. Okay, well. Uh, we don't need to add Benjamin because he doesn't have a job. It's fine. Okay. I'll I'll tidy that up later. Um, so he can stand around making flowers, making some money, I guess. They have six thousand. It's like kind of dangerous to have it out like that. <laughs> Um, because it affects the bills, so I usually dis deposit as much as I can, so we'll deposit 5,000. <clears throat> Let's save now. Is that Dustin? It is Dustin. Wow. I want to say hi to him. Greet Dustin. And I said Jennifer was going to break up with John, but she's too tired right now. Oh no, Marshall is failing and is one of the worst students at school. And you know what I just remembered? That if you get too bad of a grade like this, the social worker might come and I don't have room in the orphanage. <laughs> it's an issue. We will have to... So, hmm. Why is everything so bad? <laughs> Oh dear. I tried to have him make do the homework, but too much stuff was happening. Oh, no. I'm bad at this game. <laughs> I will admit it. I am not. The game is great. I am not. <laughs> oh, here's Don too. 
Wait, wait, will he? Will he? What will happen? Did I did I install a mod? I don't remember. Oh my goodness. Well, he is too tired to do the homework right now. Is this okay? Do I have bad grades are okay mod installed? Do I? I don't think so. Uh, it should... I have some mods. Reaction naked underwear mod. What? What does that do? I think it's new. <laughs> um... What is this? Oh, it's breastfeeding. Yeah, that, that, we need that. We have the institution sign, but that should only affect if we actually have the institution sign. So I was expecting the social worker to show up here right now, but she didn't yet. There she is. <laughs> I'm going to have to have a nervous breakdown. <laughs> I keep losing all the children. <laughs> oh no, Diana! She is the heir of this house. <laughs> no, well. <laughs> this is so bad. What is happening? Oh my god. I can't even handle the camera right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. Well. Here's a little screenshot of that happening. Because that's something we want to remember. What will I do? I don't think I can move them into... The orphanage, because I need a second orphanage. Or, you know, families that takes orphans in. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is not... Oh... <sighs> Alright, orphanage. It is for them. So Marshall and Diana got taken away. They have the order number. Uh, um, minus, this is just so that my automatic script works. Uh, if, in case you're wondering what these numbers are under order. <laughs> it's just when I sort like this, they, they sort them uh, in the right spot. See, I now have, like, I can't move out the orphanage intendant. Uh, that won't do. So that shall be. And then we have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine children. I will have a problem. Um, all right. Well, maybe Don and Nina wants to adopt a child. <laughs> I don't think so. But maybe Mary Sue and Malcolm will adopt a child. Um, quickly. You know, I have, I have some families. I think the, the city council will put out a notice, like, please, if you are able to <laughs> adopt a child, please do, because we're having troubles. Um, please, quickly. I could put them in into some kind of foster situation, um, of course. <sighs> well, yes. Okay. Uh, poor little Diana. She didn't, didn't do anything. Well, there she goes. Quite bad. <laughs> why is every why does everything keep happening to me? <laughs> well, okay. Well, it's the game. 
It happens. It's fine. I was going to give him a game. Oh. Well. I can't move them into the orphanage right now, so I can't go visit him. Um. I don't think I can call him over either. Can I? Maybe he can. Maybe he could call him over. I don't know. Call them. Could he call Marshall over to give him a game as a present? Let's see. <laughs> um, um, see him. Answer is no. But don't worry, the game didn't delete him. Uh, it has him like in sort of a interesting state where he could be uh, adopted. Um, but we can also spawn him with the the bush. Do we do that? Is that cheating? I don't. I think it's cheating. We we can't do that. All right. Well. Resume your daisies, I guess. Oh, he wants to be friends with Rosemary, so may maybe we pursue that. She is playing a game, so we can join... No, this is Solvay. Where's Rosemary? There she is. Oh, okay. I don't think... If we tip her, do we... No, we can't tip her. What? Can't we? Tip. Five simoleons. Does that increase... Their relationship. I do not know. He does not like Solvay. All right. At this rate, no, none of the children will live with their parents when I'm done. <laughs> this is awful. Okay. You know, I get so stressed. My stress levels are um, horrible. I thought, like this, nothing bad could possibly happen. I was wrong. Okay. Well, uh, talk to Dustin. Uh, I don't know. Did that increase? No, it did not change the relationship at all. They are still at 34. Okay, so talk to her then. Hello, Dustin. What about their relationship? Like nothing. They're not family or anything. They know of each other, apparently. I can't get, keep track of how everyone knows each other. <laughs> They're all living in Pleasant View, so that's enough. <laughs> Only Dustin lives over in uh, Blue Water. Wait, wait, she's getting away. <laughs> Um, talk to her. Oh, gossip. Yeah, you can gossip. It's fine. Apparently, with the bed box, you can also, um, you can all also remove all gossip from everyone. Because gossip is kind of like memories, only you can't see them. You can only see them when they are talking to other people. You can see if they gossip, like he's about to do. He will tell her something about this sim that he has seen, uh, but we don't know what it is. So, like, I would like the next bubble to be like, did you know he cheated or did you know, like, something. Or, you know, like a uh, text up here, like we actually do get in uh, Sims 4. Sims 4 does some things that are better, but I still prefer this game. Okay. Can we hug her friendly? Yes. Will we be friends? Almost. Uh, don't kiss her. Just tell her a joke. She will love you for that, <laughs> I think. Uh, 
Oh, he also wants to be friends with Dustin. Okay. Wait, when is his... Um... Where is the, um, the, the adjuster? This is the adjuster. Show my token stats. He likes females. Um, and he has the hots for Melody Tinker. Well, that's interesting. I should put him as straight over here so that I know that I don't have to keep checking. <laughs> there we go. I think Jennifer is straight, right? Pretty sure. Uh, yes. And she has the hots for uh, John. Well, uh, <laughs> let's Im invite him over and tell him, you know, um, the boys really needed a father figure, and you wouldn't, you weren't here. So uh, now we lost them. Hope you're happy, John. I'll need to uh, call her back. Oh, Jennifer now has 7,200 in her bank account. So uh, I put that in two places for some reason. See? There we go. And now we know that she will have a weekly result of uh, 1,200 and that is good <laughs> um, good to know otherwise she would be uh, poor and have to move but she can support them she has a, quite a good job she's a level 3 nurse and she wants to get a promotion I'm going to lock that in um, didn't she get this? I think she should have gotten that. There you go. <laughs> because it did get a, a scholarship. And she wants to... Oh, I was going to potty train Diana, but instead we get to have a little nice cry about losing the, ba the, the children to the social worker. All right. Oh, she is quite sad. Understandably so. Well, she can she can just focus on her work, I think. Mechanical. She needs mechanical study. Mechanical. No, I said I was going to <laughs> invite John over. Can you do it when you're done crying? Oh my god, she's really, really sad. I don't know why I'm so adamant uh, getting uh, Benjamin to <laughs> learn how to do the flowers, but you know, he has the wish. I apparently locked it in for some reason. Maybe I thought they needed money. Um, John, where are you? There you go. Invite, oh, invite over household. That would be interesting. No, I don't think he would come over with his n new family. I think she just invites him over and gets rid of him oh hello tiffany he is so sad he wants to dance with someone okay hmm well maybe i'll lock that in and then after she uh, breaks up with john she, we could try and find a nightclub and see if she can dance with someone. Uh, there's John now. Break up! <laughs> no time to spare. None. Let's 
Benjamin has finished another of these. Oh, I'm up here missing the <laughs> entire scene over here. That's silly. Well, he is getting an earful. That is what happens when you just move out. If you don't want to live in my house, you can just go away and never come back. Bye bye. Oh, now they're not friends anymore. That is too bad. But she doesn't hate him. All right, okay. Well, that's that's okay. He goes like, I I don't need you. Uh, but I will drive her to a community lot alone. Do we have anyone? What is this? Film and literature. No, we need we need a um. A club or a night club. Sometimes I don't know what is what. There's so many places. We have the South Beach. Can you dance there? I don't remember. The pond is for fishing. Now I think Club Dante is the only one. I think so let's go there now she's taking her own car and not a taxi so I don't know if community time will work but it's okay oh and everybody aged everyone meaning uh, Jennifer and Benjamin aged up because the, the children was actually taken before uh, 8 o'clock or uh, 18. 1800 hours! I mean 6 o'clock. So we get Jennifer at 49 and Benjamin is now 16. In two years he can uh, go to college if he wants to and if no he cannot. Because he needs an A to go to college at 18 and he is not quite there. Not at all. Oh, she almost drove John over. <laughs> yeah, that would been, have been something. That can't happen, by the way. Oh. I'm sorry I don't talk more during the loading screens. It's like my my brain is also loading. <laughs> it's just a thing that happens to me. Anyway, now we need to find someone to dance with. Here's Brian. Can we flirt with him? The, he was the first one I saw. <laughs> Let's just charm him. Hello. You're, you seem like a nice person. <laughs> well, he's he's good looking. How do I how do I dance with him? Uh, do I need to click over here, or do I click him? Can we greet him? Apparently, mm -hmm. didn't we already do that? Um. Ask to form a casual group. I never do that. Just for fun. Here we go. Hello! <laughs> You're in my group now, okay? And he agrees with it. So then we should... If I go here, will he follow me? Here's some little teen as well. Who are you? David Otomas. He is not a townie. He's... And um, he lives in a household. He is ag ignored <laughs> because I didn't want to move. I don't like having Sims in the bin. 
So I moved all the Ben Sims into different houses, but I don't want to play with them. So I'll play with them if I need more Sims, which I don't at the moment. Where is my friend? Oh, he's way over there. I don't think that was... Okay, we can call him over. Get in here. I, I want to dance. Just broke up with my husband and now I want to dance, okay? Who's this? Mark Trimble. We cannot talk to him, apparently. Tucker, greet him. Like, if people would gather... Oh, also... Oh. <laughs> she has bolts on uh, Malcolm. Oh, she thinks he's hot. And there's a witch, I think. Is there? Yes. Always witches. Well, say hi to Ma Malcolm. I'm gonna see... Like, he is married to Mary Sue, but maybe he is the one she wanted to dance with. Dance together. I don't know. You know, she was farting hearts at him. <clears throat> okay. Well, you want to win a dance contest. How do we do that? Your Sim wants to win a dance contest. To do this, have your sim click on a DJ booth and then have them select join or start a dance contest. Is there a DJ booth in here? I don't think so. No, but there should be. Let's just let her dance. I don't know what to do with oh, Brian over here now. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's make sure there is an uh acr adjuster there is not okay that got put there uh, it's fine i think and just see what happens like this dancing thing uh seems to work fairly well they dance a lot that's whoops <laughs> okay what happened over here? <clears throat> Mark Trimble and Lindsay Smith is having romantic thingies happening? Alright. I don't know who Mark Trimble is, but I kind of rec recognize his name. So I don't know, maybe he is in the retirement home. Where Sims go to die. <laughs> For reals, that's where I killed them. It's just the way of life. Um, yeah, sure, you can do that, Jennifer. That's a thing that you can do. It's, yeah, <laughs> why not? It is the ladies' bathroom. And as long as nobody opens this door too wide, only women will see you. <laughs> I am so bad at this game. Well, at least we're having fun, all right? Um, okay, so she is like back on track wanting, um, Wanting the promotions and stuff, so I think she could just drive home. Will Brian follow her home now? I don't know. Maybe she... maybe... He will? Is he working at the bar? Uh, Alright. Yes, he will follow us. <laughs> okay. Oh, they, they are having a romance over here. All right. That's nice. What just happened? <laughs> Big 
So, um, let's see if time skips back or if, well, time will skip back, but let's see if she <clears throat> comes home directly or if there is a delay. I want to know. Oh, uh, no, she comes home directly. To no, no, she's, she's gone for five hours. That is a nice... I like that because then uh, Sims won't get double time. I think I'm just gonna ignore John. Go talk to to Dustin. Or, or you know, don't, I guess. Oh no, he's sad his parents broke up. Oh no. Well, hope you're getting good support from uh, Solvay that you hate. <laughs> he doesn't like her. Yeah, yeah. I get it. You're very sad. Uh, what time is it? He wants to be uh, best friends with Rosemary. Maybe I'll lock that in instead. It's more interesting. Um, so he could call her, I guess. I think she went home. Did she? I don't remember. Who's this? Who's is this? Who, whose flowers are these? Um, oh right, he is. He's lot. He's in love with Melody Tinker, but like, or have a crush on her. But he has no wishes to actually be with her. I think um, Rosemary is around here somewhere. There she is. Okay. I don't know. Go hug her. Dear Lucy, oh, oh, it's a flower bouquet from Randy to Lucy. Well, I don't think Benjamin wants that around. Technically, we could move. Uh, we could move Diana in with Lucy, like seeing as Lucy is her mother. But uh, she is living in like the smallest apartment possible. So I think social services would say that uh, you need to like up your game a little bit and have somewhere for the child to actually sleep if you want to gain custody of that child. So, so that's out. And obviously, you can't just take the children back here. That would be cheating. <laughs> they wouldn't like take the children away and then immediately approve um, the children coming back. So we can't do that. Unfortunately, I didn't count on this happening. I do have some towny orphans living in the orphanage. I could, I could just remake them townies and pretend that they are taken care of elsewhere. Yes, we should do that. So yes, I want to save. Because I didn't count on 
this happening, obviously. <laughs> so we do have these two townies, Ni Nicole and Michelle. I kind of like them, but we could just uh, make them townies instead, and we'll have ta uh, we'll have room for the played Sims or like the known <laughs> Sims, I guess. So we could just make these townies. Yes, that is unfortunately what we'll have to do because look at this, look at the state of my game. <laughs> and now they are not, um, they're not toddlers anymore. Well, M Michelle is, we'll, we'll um, age her up so that she can have a chance to meet people. Here she is. Are we taking her to the cake or something? Bring Michelle to cake. I think so. Let's sleep her out, it says. All right. I'll bring her to the cake and we could... Oh, poor little Nicole. Well, make me a townie. Can't be helped. It will need to be done. What happens is she will just sort of walk away. <laughs> there you go. Bye bye. Um, she won't disappear from the game. She she will just like be one of those kids that could follow other kids from home from school and stuff. Did I have to do everything at the same time? Yes. <laughs> Apparently. So there she goes. And also, I ran out of space. Maybe I should make a second story to this building and put all the sleeping quarters up there. Maybe. Oh, a little Nicole. Well, we, let's just pretend she was transferred to to somewhere else, or or possibly a adopted by somebody i don't know there she goes she was due to uh, age up by the way I'm, I'm not just aging her up for the sake of it she was uh at the age There she goes. Ah, curious. She has the knowledge aspiration because I <laughs> that apparently happens when you age someone down. <laughs> she was like a, uh, I don't know if she was a teen or adult when I snatched her for the orphanage. Now she's a child. It's fine. And now we can make her as well a townie. Make me a townie. Stop everything. And then as soon as she is not part of the family anymore, um, I can move the burb children in here. Because they're synced, right? Um, yes, Marshall Burb and Diana Burb come over here, so we'll not adopt them, we'll just summon Burb, um, Marshall, see he's like in the game, the, the game thinks he's still part of the Burb family, but he's not there, <laughs> so move Marshall Burb in. Who's that? Michelle. Oh, Michelle. Moonshine. Oh, that's the cat. Uh, summon Burb and then Diana. So the orphanage will once again have a little toddler to deal with. 
move in Diana Burb. Okay, so now that's settled. I feel better. So we have to remove these numbers. These townies don't have numbers. There. Everyone is where they are supposed to be. <clears throat> so what I do when um, someone is um, adopting a child is I go in here and I actually summon them over and make them selectable. And then they go around talking to all the children and then like I let them do that for I think three hours in game and then whoever they like the most that's who they will adopt. I should uh, delete Marshall's homework <laughs> so that I don't have to see it anymore. Uh, it's kind of annoying to do because you're not you're not allowed to just delete it. Wait, this is not his homework. Wait, it is deleted. Ah, huh. it got deleted by itself. I think the the pile was here. Well, that's good to know. I have been deleting them manually, but maybe it's better to let the game do it. Oh, okay. We learn something all the time. Benjamin wants to obtain a pet. And I think that he should be allowed to. So let's let's just adopt some uh, some pet. I'll I'll randomize it because like he is not having a good time. <laughs> pet adoption service. Hi, I would like to have a pet to replace my lost siblings, please. So there's three kinds. There's big dog, small dog, and a cat. So we can go to random.org and go randomize three. We get a three, so we get a cat. And here's some kittens. I don't know. Here is this a named kitten? I'm not sure what rules we should have for these. There's always going to be kittens, but these are not named, so we can skip them. Should we randomize these between these, or should we just take the the kitten or some? I think we should randomize it, <laughs> or take the first one, which is bonkers. I think we should randomize it. Yes. Okay. Let, let's randomize it. So we have four here and three here. So that's seven, obviously. So let's do four. We get sweets. And he is a doofus. He's lazy. He's independent. And he is finicky. All right. Okay. Let's, let's have him. Are you sure you want to adopt sweets? Yes. <laughs> And I'm not going to rename him because that's his name. We should pay the bills though. And he st still doesn't want to do his homework. Maybe he will when the pet comes. Make some flowers until then. There is 
Bonkers. No, sweets. He was not bonkers. He was sweets. Aww. Oh my goodness, I love the Sims pets. They are so cute. Oh, I can I can feel the the air from the cat's nose in my ear when I see this. It's so cute. At least something good is happening. You know what? I'm gonna sell all the... What are you doing? Why are you taking... What is happening? Why is he taking that? Is that... Is the Reaper man here? Why... Why would you take my computer? I don't get it. Didn't I have enough money for the pet or something? Why did you take my computer? <laughs> I don't get it. All right, well. Did I not realize what... Oh, uh, never mind that. I'm gonna sell all the tod toddler stuff because we don't have a toddler and it's making me sad to look at them. Now we have lots of space. Fantastic. We could have a roommate, I think. Can we have a roommate when we're not in an apartment? I don't know. Well, let's just buy cat stuff. We need a little food bowl. I, I like this one. It's cute. Um, there. And we also need toys. Is there isn't there a mouse toy too? Also, I can't figure out if this sign will make uh, <laughs> people come walk their dogs or prevent them from doing it. I can't. I don't know. Here's some some other. Um, The pet sculpture solution finally solves the pet sculpture problem with a brilliant solution that incorporates both pets and sculptures into a compelling signifier of pet activity to come. Oh, it's like capable of withstanding category 3 graffiti. The pet sculpture solution is a loyal foot soldier in the army of quality and affordability. I think this means that people will... What, what's this? Like polar bears and penguins. I don't. I do not know, but I, that's not what I was looking for. Where do we put this? Maybe we put it outside? No. No, I don't like it. Let's put it here. So we have... We also need one of these. I don't think we... Oh, maybe I need one of these. Maybe this is the cat's room. <laughs> yeah, maybe it is the cat room. I don't know. Now he wants to be friends with sweets. So give him love. Hug him. Oh no! Scold for destroying the furniture, And also hug him. Give love. Hug. Good cat. You're a good cat, sweets, aren't you? You're a good kitty. Yes. <laughs> There we go, let's save before something happens. We 
We can take the cat for a walk. Is that a good idea? Maybe. I don't know. <clears throat> oh, hi, John. I hate you. <laughs> he keeps showing up. Or is he just still here? I don't know. Now he's gone. Oh, we also need to feed the cat. Hello. Fill the bowl. But we're also giving him a treat so he won't starve. Here we go. Oh, it's in the middle of the night. Maybe he should go to sleep. Hmm. But this again. Don't know why that keeps happening. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, Jennifer brought Brian home. Okay. Talk to him then. But we should say how, uh, goodbye to him. She wants to get a uh, promotion. So she uh, she should be working on that. I think. Um, how do I tell him to leave? Say goodbye to everyone. If someone else is here, please leave. Oh, she doesn't like him. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Coming on strong, I see. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> okay, well, if that's what you want to do. Hey, what is happening to my computer? Okay, uh, all right. Nice view, huh? You see right through her. There, now we got rid of that pesky uh, man that was loitering around. Um, study mechanical. Not sure what's wrong with the car. Well, it's fine. So to get a promotion, she needed a mechanical, and she also needs a cleaning skill point. So let's study that. She doesn't need any more friends. But now we don't have a computer. I don't like it. Let's let's borrow some money to get a computer. Where is it? In here. Was one of these? She can withdraw like a thousand. I think that will be enough. No, it will not be enough. Withdraw 2,000 then. Man, that cat was expensive. Oh, and she almost got the <laughs> skill point before I interrupted her. Uh, pay back everything. There you go. 
So now she has less money in the bank, but it, it's fine. Get that skill point and go to work. There you go. Hurry up, go to work, get promotion. Oh, she's very tired. And there's a werewolf. Fighting. All right. Well, we're on Saturday, so I'm gonna note that here. Mm. And it's Saturday, so Benjamin can sleep as long as he wants. <clears throat> and uh, now he has some time uh, to maybe want to do all of these homework stuffs that is laying around over there but here's just having ships and stuff okay and he wants to be become friends with this rosemary person let's call her over yeah. she's not from here well, invite her as house guest then. That would be funny. But she came home with him from school. <laughs> That's weird. Of course I'll come over to visit. I haven't heard from you forever. Um, you were here yesterday. Well, I don't know. John is here again. Well, say hello to him then. It is your father. Oh, he's very happy to see John, it seems. Okay. What is the cat doing? He's sleeping on the counter. Well, I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I think it's cute. Um, weren't that girl coming over? Maybe it takes a while to get here from her country. I guess. Oh, I didn't see you there. Hello. <laughs> How you doing? And the phone's ringing, and Lisa Ramirez is over here. Okay, well, yeah. let's answer the phone. What is wrong with the counters? There's nothing wrong with the counters. Perfectly fine. Is Jennifer available to talk? No, she is at work. So we can't have that. And Lisa got away. <laughs> That's fine. Having some sandwiches. Very nice animations. A small recap here. <laughs> well, I'm fine, thanks. Uh, this household, though, is not. Because I'm bad at the game. <laughs> Apparently. So, um, when this stream started, uh, what has happened is John over there, he um, moved in with Ginger Newson because reasons. He uh, he loved her and she asked him to and he said yes, you know, that how sims do. They always say yes to everything. So he actually took the youngest son, the newborn baby William, 
with him to to stay at the nuisance uh over somewhere <laughs> where is the there it is there he, so john lives over there now and then lucy decided she would just run off and marry randy london and live in a small crappy apartment and she did not bring diana her daughter with her so she was still here but then marshall burb got an F in school. So social services says this is not a home fit for children. Uh, we will take Marshall and Diana um, away from you. So now, now it's just Jennifer and Benjamin because he's a teenager so they didn't take him. So, um, and I had to like smoosh them into the orphanage that was already full. But I solved that by making uh, townies, townies again. So <laughs> <clears throat> I said when the stream started, this is the, nothing bad can happen because this is a calm household. Mm -hmm. But I was wrong. But they got a cat. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm apparently having some throat issues. They got little sweets over here. It's very cute. Um, and he's friends with Benjamin. Benjamin wanted a pet and I said like, yes. <laughs> Your game graphics are just so good, I hope. It's mainly that I increased the resolution to a very high resolution. That's why we can't read what's down here, but <laughs> so good and it makes me want to get back into sims 2 i recommend you do it's uh it's a fun game stuff happens all the time but sometimes i need um i need something calmer <clears throat> all my uh, children keeps getting taken away this week <laughs> i've been struggling with sims 4 with tons of cc and mods yeah like, have you tried playing it vanilla? Uh, I mean, for real, because uh, I, I mean, I usually have uh, like a ton of CC for Sims 4, but I found that when I play vanilla, it's it runs better. <laughs> so. But you know, you gotta deal with all the things that you fixed with mods, so. And also the, the Wants and Fear system is lacking, seriously lacking without mods, so. Yeah, it's a balance. So, yeah, my solution is just play Sims 2. <laughs> with a bunch of mods. Of course. I have no lag or anything, but the game is so weak and lacking stuff and I feel so dead. Yeah, when, you know, um, for me, the dead feeling, I think the dead feeling is like, um, you, you put everything in place, right? And you play and you don't get surprised. Like, it's just... You, you keep wondering what is wrong because everything, like when everything is working, everything is working. So you're li like, so what's wrong with it? I don't see what's wrong with it. But what is wrong is that you don't get surprised. You, you, you get sometimes a little bit of a surprise, but um, nothing earth shattering. So... Like when you go to The Sims 2, you realize, oh, this is what the game is supposed to be. <laughs> because now we get, but, oh my God, I can't believe he did that and stuff like that. So that, that for me is the dead feeling of The Sims 4. Well, um, Rosemary is invited, but she um, fails to show up. Maybe she lives on the other side of the world. 
So maybe we should call Dustin because Benjamin wants to be friends with Dustin. I'm a I'm okay with nothing happening right now because so much has happened in my game. So I'm kind of overwhelmed. Uh, uh, just talk to him then. Oh, Jennifer got that promotion that she wanted. Well, it's like it's sort of bittersweet. I mean, she she lost her children. Um, Marshall got taken away by social services. <laughs> William was snatched away by John, and little Diana over here was also taken by social services. But she got a promotion. That's good. Now she wants to sell a great novel. Uh, the career in Sims 4 is so easy and pretty much zero surprise. When in Sims 3 you feel you achieved something in every single thing you do. And jobs actually have benefits around the Sims in town and not only yourself. How do you mean in, in town? <laughs> I'm sure you're right. I just didn't understand. Um, Oh, she wants to write a novel, but she has to sleep. She's always tired. She works so hard, but it's never enough. But now she's an intern, so she will make a little bit of money. 574 to be exact. I'll put that in my manual calculation so we can know. Uh, 574. Uh, why didn't this change? Oh. They are uh, doing quite well, even though it's just Lucy, uh, no, not Lucy, Jennifer's pay, uh, pay. But that is quite enough. Oh, I was going to check if you could like place an ad for a roommate. I don't know if teenagers can do that, even though they're not in an apartment. Uh, I don't think you can. I think roommates are uh, only for apartments in The Sims 2. No, no, no roommates, because they have lots of space now. You know, actually, we should change these beds out. Oh, I can't sell that because there's a little, <laughs> there's little food on top. Oh, we can't pick things up. I'm gonna sell all the toys. Every Sims 3 ca career and traits have impact over gameplay. Example as criminal emperor or evil, of evil for example, and the red aura around your sim. You have to forgive me. I um, I kind of um, don't play the Sims 3 because it runs so badly for me. Like I have. Uh, I always have um, bad luck with it. <laughs> it keeps crashing and the saves get corrupt and, you know, all things that could go wrong, go wrong with The Sims 3 for me. Why, why can't I... Do I have to take this little thing? Am I not allowed to sell it? Maybe if I have move objects on. Maybe now I will be able to. Yes, thank you. There, I'm gonna put. I run Sims 3 with mods and CC and zero lag. Good for you. I'm happy for you. It is a very good game. Unfortunately, when I'm playing it, um, it doesn't work that well. It usually it works well in the beginning, and then after a while, it just like I get. I, I run into troubles. Let's just say that. Oh, this this bed doesn't go in this house at all. <laughs> Maybe this one. That's pretty. I don't know. I think Benjamin likes red. I'm not sure. Or maybe he doesn't like red at all. But he got a red bed now. <laughs> I'm gonna put him over there so he knows it's his bed.
Well, Benjamin, you got a big room now. This used to be Lucy's room. Adjust bed ownership on this bed. That's a mod. It's from uh, SimLogical. There we go. He also wants to gain a skill point. What does he need? Nothing. But he, we could study cooking because every sim should know some cooking so they don't, don't burn to death. <laughs> I feel it kind of weird that John keeps showing up here to hang out. Like, he, he doesn't really understand <laughs> what has happened. <laughs> <clears throat> so Ginger Newsom just like asked him to move in with him and he said yes and now he can't understand why Jennifer divorced him and he keeps coming over <laughs> yeah they're not that smart who are you Gilbert Jacket okay well, I'm not gonna talk to you there skill point gained why did this flash? I don't understand. He wants to perform music for tips. Can we perform on the drums? Will that satisfy it? Maybe. Didn't I have a uh, door here? Maybe in another save. John, come over and give me some tip. <laughs> Seems he doesn't want to. What's wrong with the cat? Mm, praise for yowling. Scald for yowling. I don't know. Maybe that's a bad thing. Oh no, we didn't get any money. And he also didn't do this. How long do I have to wait after I invite someone over? I don't know. Matt. Hello, Matt. Do you want to be my friend? He keeps thinking about adopting babies, probably because his siblings and uh, <clears throat> niece got taken away. He can just say hi to everybody. Um, maybe we could invite Dustin over. He wants to be best friend with Dustin for some reason. I don't know. Maybe he looks up to him. Dustin. That's a weird person to look up to, <laughs> <clears throat> by the way. Oh, why didn't I? Yes, okay, bring your friend. See, Dustin lives... He married Angela. Did they break up? I don't know. He, but he cheated on Angela with Meadow. And so now, now Angela is all angry. And then... <laughs> And then, oh, he brought Meadow. Meadow was engaged to Bo Broke, too. <laughs> so she, she was with both the brothers. But I don't remember. Oh, yes. So uh, Chloe Aldi wanted to, to get with, with Bo Broke. So she intentionally uh, kissed Bo in front of Meadow and she broke up with with Bo and now I don't know what's going to happen. She's a townie. I don't know if if Dustin will um, You know um, Move in with her and move out from Angela's place or what is happening? It's a whole mess <laughs> So that's why I'm saying like, and also uh, Dustin doesn't have a job. He doesn't want to get a job. 
none of my sims ever want to get a job so I don't get them one because it's fun to have them unemployed uh... oh oh hello okay uh well okay hug him friendly maybe we can get them to be best friends um why is why is there a lot of options to flirt with him and stuff because that doesn't make any sense because Benjamin is very, very straight. <laughs> All right, now they are doing stuff. All right. Can't you see they're busy? Who's over here playing? Well, now that there's, there's some people over, we can like shoo this person. Shoo, shoo, go away. Uh, talk to him then. Maybe he will stop playing, then I can play, and maybe someone will tip me. Someone. Maybe. Is he saying goodbye? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's late now, too. <laughs> See you later. Perform rock. It's my preference for when you're drumming. Please give me some money. Yes, yes, give me money. Thank you. Okay, stop playing. You got some money. <laughs> We don't actually need money, I just want to fulfill the want. And hopefully he will get a want to actually do his homework. Come on. No, oh, reach creativity level 3. Well, have a bath. Keep performing then, I guess. What does she want? Oh, now she wants logic skill points and cleaning skill points. Oh. Do logic first. Ah, join. This is sort of uneventful, but I kind of like it. Oh, I think everyone aged up again. I usually uh, notice when they do, but lately I've been missing it. So they should be 50 and 17. So Jennifer is actually 50 now, and we should change her appearance because... <clears throat> We gotta give her some wrinkles <laughs> and stuff. So I think I decided that you get one wrinkle for each five years over 40. So 40, 45, 50. So she should have three of them. <clears throat> It is interesting uh, that Dustin came over here with Meadow and not with Angela, I think. So I think that means that they actually did break up. Did she want creativity? No, she wants cleaning and logic. All right. But she also wants to sell a great novel. Sims can work on that for a great time. Because if their creativity isn't high enough, they can sell novel after novel and not get a great novel. Well, she now she got that logic skill point. 
gotta have a right novel. <clears throat> that's what she wants to do I may not have added any wrinkles to her no I have this uh, blushes that are stackable <laughs> that we can add wrinkles so we need three of them I said so I just do one to four and I got a one that means I go and give her that the first one and then I get a one again, and that means I increase that one. And then th the third one is number three. So one, two, three. There we go. And now, I don't know if she looks 50. <laughs> you think she does? I don't know. This, um, this skin, default skin that I have, um, like it, it makes them look way too young, so I need to add wrinkles to them. Otherwise, we will never know who is old and who is not. And I keep forgetting I need to read these texts before they disappear. Uh, because I can't bring them back. Yeah, you sit down and write. Oh, she's very dirty. Didn't she? Wasn't she in the bath before? I don't know. So the way you write a novel is you just randomize 1 to 44 and then just take the pictures that you get. <laughs> um, uh, this one. 19. Uh, Okay, so what is this story going to be? It's so weird. Okay, an airplane. And then something about baseball. Medical things. So the, someone flew to play baseball. They had a medical issue because they're an alien. And you could tell by the x-rays. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what genre is that? I, I usually just randomize everything because I had no uh, imagination. Well, that obviously this is a cookbook. <laughs> that makes sense. Yes, it makes total sense. And you don't get to name it until it's done. And by that time, I, oh, I usually have forgotten what what the pictures were so it's all chaotic but it, it, it's fine it's fine mm. it's starting to be uh... <laughs> thank you for watching still Um, but it's starting to be time for me to go and have lunch. Uh, so I was just, I'm thinking like I'm gonna put them to bed at some point. Or if they go to bed themselves. And then we can try and find someone um, to raid. Yes, if you are hungry, go get leftovers. It's so weird, I did uh, invite Rosemary. And it said, do you want her to, to come stay with you? And I said, yes, but she's not here. I don't know. Maybe I should do it again. <laughs> but we can't do it during now nighttime, obviously. So he can just uh, go to bed, I guess. Sometimes there's not too much drama in the game. Just sometimes. Mm. 
Yeah, I don't think anything more fun is going to happen, so we might as well just end it. <laughs> so um, I'm just gonna go look for someone. Or wait, maybe I can just click here. Uh, yes, we have a Sims 4. Wait, I want to see if someone is actually playing Sims 2. Nobody is usually playing The Sims 2, it's just me. <laughs> but you know, sometimes, what is happening? There is one other person playing The Sims 2. So let's, uh, let's raid them. Uh, if I can get past all the commercials and stuff. We're unable to raid this channel at this time. Well, how about now? <laughs> Please give me a better reason. Apparently I'm not allowed. People still stream Sims 2. Well, not a lot of them, unfortunately. Um, see? It's just me and one other person. I'm not allowed to raid them for some reason. I don't know. Uh, so we will have to raid a Sims 4 player instead. Um, there. Okay. <laughs> and um, until next time, have a super duper time. Um, stay safe and take care. Bye bye.